Panasonic recently incorporated phase detection autofocus, or PDAF, into its latest Lumix S5 II camera models, joining other manufacturers who have already transitioned from the previous DFD and contrast autofocus system. But this raises the question of why Panasonic continued using these older technologies for so long, and whether it is even worth it or not. In order to understand Panasonic's decision and its approach to image development, let's delve deeper into how Panasonic and PDAF work. Let's begin by understanding the concept of Phase Detection Autofocus, or PDAF. PDAF is an advanced technology used for achieving rapid and precise automatic focus in cameras. In most consumer cameras, a portion of the image sensor's pixels is allocated for phase detection rather than pure imaging. Unlike traditional autofocus or AF models, PDAF can swiftly and accurately adjust the lens focus for each frame it captures. This results in faster and more precise autofocus compared to conventional methods. Conventional contrast autofocus relies on moving the lens to detect the focus point with the highest contrast, which can be time-consuming. In contrast, PDAF quickly determines the phase and immediately moves the lens to the desired focus point. Moreover, PDAF excels in tracking moving objects or those changing direction by continuously measuring their distance in every frame, enabling swift focus adjustments. In scenarios where multiple objects are present at varying distances within the same angle of view, and the focus needs to shift from a distant object to a closer one, traditional contrast autofocus requires the lens to move from the distant object to the closer one to detect the focus point. However, with PDAF, the phase detection mechanism can promptly shift the focus point to the closer object, allowing the lens to focus on the subject without delay. Now that we're clear about PDAF and its benefits, let's discuss why Panasonic is late to the game. Last year, Panasonic introduced the Lumix GH6 camera, featuring the traditional depth by defocus or DFD autofocus system. Matt Fraser, the business development manager at Panasonic USA, acknowledged that this autofocus direction did not meet the expectations of many users. He clarified that incorporating a modification for phase-based autofocus was not possible due to limitations posed by the new sensor used in the camera. Similar to previous Panasonic cameras, the GH6 relies on a variation of contrast detect autofocus called depth by defocus or DFD. This autofocus method adjusts the lens's focus distance based on the determination of maximum contrast in the image. DFD is particularly effective for stationary subjects, and the inclusion of subject recognition in DFD further enhances its speed and accuracy. Many other camera manufacturers utilize a hybrid autofocus system that combines contrast-based autofocus with phase detection autofocus, or PDAF, to achieve remarkable results. Phase detection autofocus functions by dividing the incoming light into pairs of images and then adjusting the focus to align these perspectives. This approach is generally faster than contrast-based autofocus and more suitable for tracking moving subjects. However, it can have implications for other aspects of a sensor's design, which is one of the reasons why Panasonic decided against implementing it in the GH6. However, those were only some of the requests that people had made. Matt Fraser acknowledged that they were well aware of the demand for a phase detection autofocus or PDAF solution. Unfortunately, it was not feasible to incorporate PDAF while implementing the other improvements that Panasonic aimed to achieve with a GH6. When designing the sensor, it became clear that a modification for phase-based autofocus was not possible, according to Fraser. The priorities for the GH6 were instead focused on faster readout speeds and improved dynamic range. Interestingly, Fraser mentioned that Panasonic is actively exploring various forms of autofocus, including PDAF. He also clarified that they're researching phase-based autofocus systems, time-of-flight autofocus systems, and potentially even innovative solutions that are unfamiliar to the industry. Now, Kisho Shiomi, another representative of Panasonic Lumix, has shed light on the reason behind the delayed implementation of phase detection autofocus technology by the company. 
Until now, Panasonic Lumix has focused primarily on image quality by utilizing contrast autofocus. Integrating image plane phase difference autofocus required incorporating a distance measurement sensor within the image sensor itself. However, this sensor's placement prevented the capture of color and luminance information, which had to be compensated for through the image processing engine. Panasonic's commitment to maintaining uncompromising image quality in both photography and video has been a core aspect of its philosophy. Xiaomi also emphasized that the existing image processing engine technology fell short of their rigorous image quality standards. Nevertheless, through significant advancements in their image processing engine, they have made substantial progress in integrating and correcting the distance measurement sensor while preserving exceptional image quality. Panasonic Lumix's goal is not solely to introduce focal plane phase detection autofocus, but also to provide their customers with outstanding image quality. Furthermore, they're delighted to announce that image plane phase detection autofocus can now be utilized without any compromise on image quality. That's exactly what we've seen in the new Lumix S5 II. From now on, Panasonic will include this autofocus system in upcoming projects, even in MFT. So even though Panasonic was late, we really think the research and development were worth the delay. What do you think about Panasonic's late integration of PDAF? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.